Hi everyone, welcome back to the garden. So it is entirely too hot, uh, or at least too humid to be working outside this weekend, which means I didn't get anything done like I wanted to, uh, but it's like walking through soup out here. So uh, I am going to start a series coming up now that the garden tour is over and I can officially start deconstructing some spaces for the year. I've been holding out um, that project until the garden tour was done, but a lot of that focus is going to take shape on the south side of the house where I didn't show in the garden tour mainly because it, it honestly to me it doesn't look bad necessarily but I don't like it so some of this stuff is going to be coming out and it's very bright right now so it might be hard to see but I wanted to get out here and get something uh, shot while I could so over the coming weeks I'm going to first do a little series about expanding this bed. It'll These will probably be short little videos about just kind of renovating a garden space going into fall. And so I talked about removing this hump here uh, so I can bring this bed out a little bit. So I'm going to be doing that. So it'll just go about like this here. It won't be perfectly straight because I like some curves in my beds, but it will straighten up more because this is difficult to cut with the mower. And it's also not much planting space here. Second thing I'm going to be doing is removing some of these plants uh, that just do not perform well in the space. Some of them including hydrangeas. This is quick fire and for some reason I got hardly any blooms on this one this year. Uh, it's looking kind of sickly um, so I think I'm just going to be completely removing that one which I didn't think is something that I would be removing a paniculata from my garden but I just don't like the way this one has performed. There's some newer varieties I could try over here that I'll be getting in this fall. Uh, this one was specifically planted as a tiny shrub, probably like a quart size several years ago, and they just have not done well on this side of the garden. This one as well is firelight, and it's not done well either, but this one I might be transitioning to the back in the where the tomatoes are, which I also didn't show in the garden tour, but Behind my fence, there's going to be a space that I'm probably going to be transitioning into like a cutting um, area so for some cut flowers next year. So I really love the firelight. The blooms have never, it's never performed really well right here. And it might get too much shade because this is south, southwest facing. So this like bakes for most of the day. But it starts getting a little more shade here around this time of the day, which is one o'clock or so and then it's probably shaded for most of the rest of the day. So it may not get enough sun to perform well right there. So I might be able to stick something that's a little more shade loving there. I'm gonna be removing this yucca because I don't really love it right here and it's spiky and it's just, it's just not my taste. And maybe removing some of these irises and these perennials that I just have around here because I just have not liked the way this space has performed. And I'm not sure what I will be completely replacing those things with, but after some of these plants are removed, the third step is going to be redoing the drip irrigation in this spot. I've mentioned here before that I did a uh, quarter inch drip irrigation method all throughout this bed. It's the only bed on the property that's like that. And it's three or so years old, and it's just not allowed the plants to perform very well. The pressure's pretty low. Um, the emitters pop off. The other day I came through an emitter was spraying water or a tube was spraying water out of um, one of the tubes and so I just this bed needs some work and some renovation and after I get all of that out uh, I may let it sit. I don't know. We'll see what comes up in the fall. I know I've got some plants coming in that I'm going to have to find some spaces for so that may be a good area to work some of this in but it's going to be just kind of trial and error to see what we can do in this space to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit because I'm just not loving the way it looks. I do, however, love these sedums that we got here. So this is back in black and they are really beautiful. I'm loving this um, purple flowers it's putting on in the dark foliage. Now I may not keep as many of those here. I may transition some of those to other parts in the garden. But once again, some stuff just needs to be moved around here, not loving the way it's looking. And this much sun, uh, it might be a struggle to find something. It's, like I said, it's kind of a weird lighting condition. So it is really hot and it just bakes here, but then it kind of gets shady in the afternoon. So there is some afternoon protection, but 
The only thing that's really done pretty well over here are these variegated irises. This butterfly bush has actually done pretty well over here. It might stay where it's at, uh, but everything else might come out or get transitioned elsewhere. There's some uh, mini mauvette hydrangeas that have not done great here. This could probably use a little more shade. Um, so I'm not sure what it is about this space. I don't know if it's the soil. This is a part of the garden that we had some really huge, um, I don't know what they were. I got this, they, they may have been used that were here and they were probably as tall as me and they covered this entire space. And so I think the ground was just really dehydrated and lacking nutrients for quite a long period of time. And then we came through and planted a bunch of stuff in it and it just needs some revitalization. So we're gonna be working on that this fall as well. Uh, we're supposed to get some better weather towards the end of the week, and so I'm hoping it will be a little cooler and at least not as humid, and I can get out here and start doing some stuff because this will have to be done in a little bit of stages because I have to dispose of everything in our trash, and I don't want to fill that up. I also got in um, mini clover for the entire backyard. I decided to add mini clover to the entire backyard because if you watch the garden tour, you may have noticed the grass looks really terrible in some areas and it's areas that I've not been able to get grass to grow just because of the traffic in front of these steps for years. I've tried, I reseeded in the spring as you know, uh, and the dogs, urine spots and just foot traffic just do not do a great job. This grass does not hold up good to that. So that's the benefits of the micro clover. Uh, it will hold up to the dog urine spots the traffic pretty well. It also kind of has a symbiotic relationship with the grass itself. Uh, it naturally absorbs nitrogen from the air and uh, puts that back in the ground to help fertilize the grass. So less fertilization. I've actually only fertilized my grass once this year, which is also something that I've kind of fell behind on. But this has just been a crazy year, both with weather. We're getting way more rain than we have, I think, in any year since we've lived in this home which has been really nice uh, during the summer as far as a reprieve. We're not had like a huge drought other than that couple weeks we didn't get any a while back. But you can see all the hydrangeas are kind of laying down because we have gotten so much rain um, over the past few days and not like short sprinkles, like heavy, heavy downpours. And so everything's looking a little, not so too much tired, but just a little droopy from all the rain. Thought about coming out this evening if I had time and actually, cause we got a little bit of room in our trash can as I was just talking about and removing some of these lower limbs like this one right here, which is hanging really low. It's starting to hit the hostas. Uh, that one over there, which is actually touching the ground and some of these other lower hanging ones, just so I can get a visualization of what this area will look like without these limbs. Uh, intruding into uh, this planting space. And I came out the other night, despite how hot it was, and pulled out some of the daylilies down to there and started planting in this space. So I'll go over some of this planting in a separate video, but this is just kind of a sneak peek of what I've done so far. I did get the red, lady in red ferns planted between all of these uh, emerald greens because I wanted to get them in the ground and get them established well before winter. I've only planted a few ferns on my property before and I haven't had good luck with them growing or returning. And so this is gonna be an experiment for this winter. And one reason I wanted to get them in a little earlier and get them settled so they would root in really well before winter. Otherwise, we still gotta remove all of these daylilies uh, and move them to other parts of the garden uh, and dispose of a few and give some away. But this was just intended to be a short video to tell you about the projects that are coming up uh, I'm not sure how the series will unfold. It really depends on how the weather. We still have a pretty hot August here sometimes, and as humid as it's been, it'll probably be a slow work in progress. Um, but I'm trying to get as much done as early as I can because I know there's a lot to do this fall. Uh, the garden's in a pretty good shape, um, and I don't have a ton of projects other than the Staylily Hedge and the South Side Garden. But those can take a pretty good number of hours, especially reworking a space. And so we'll get get into that in a future video. I'm not sure when I will start that. I hope to start it sooner rather than later, but we'll just have to see how the weather permits. The days are getting shorter in the evening as well, so there's not as much light to actually shoot videos in. 
Uh, so I may have to do that stuff on the weekend or complete it in the week and then discuss it with you on um, another day after it's done. So what I'm trying to say is I'll show you what I can, but there may be some things that I just have to go over generally with you uh, as time permits because of both the weather and the fading sunlight as we approach fall. Thank you guys for joining me. And remember, in a world full of hate, be a light. Take care, everyone. Bye.